Hello and welcome to Watching for a Friend, where I watch movies because I love them and let you know whether it's worth watching or not. Today I'm going to be doing a really fun wind down. Yes, because we're going to be reviewing a movie called Uncorked, which is on Netflix and debuted this weekend. While I don't have my wine, <laughs> I do have this, uh, you know, fancy little wine glass where I'm drinking my ginger beer. It was fizzy. It was fizzy. Uncorked is about a young man, Elijah, who is played by Mamudu Ate, Ate, I believe is how you pronounce his name. And he was on the Netflix original series, The Get Out. He was also in Underwater, starring Kristen Stewart, one of my faves. At the beginning of this year in January, he, he had a small role in Underwater. Um, so if he looks familiar to you, it's probably because you've seen him in one of those two things. This movie also stars Courtney B. Vance, a very well-known actor, um, but I will say that this is probably one of, and he's been in tons of stuff, right? But this is actually my favorite role that I've seen him in thus far. So he's been in tons of TV shows, lots of films, he, he's even done plays, um, and he is Angela Bassett's husband, <laughs> for those of you who don't know. So very, very well-known, revered, respected actor, but I really appreciated him playing the father, playing Elijah father in this particular movie. I thought he did an amazing job. Phenomenal. Um, his mother was also played by Niecy Nash. She did a wonderful job. She's also really well known for her roles in her starring role in Claws and Reno 911 where she does tons and tons of comedy. She's really funny in that series as well. Another breakout role in this movie or in this film was uh, Elijah's girlfriend, who was played by Sasha Compare. Compare? Compare? I don't know. It's um, a Haitian last name, so it has some French elements, I'm guessing. So I'm thinking Compare or something like that. I don't know. I hope I'm not butchering that. But I thought she did such a phenomenal job. She and, uh, you know, her, her character, she plays his girlfriend named Tanya. Um, they originally aren't boyfriend and girlfriend. They actually meet on screen and become, you know, in a relationship throughout the movie. But I thought that their energy and their chemistry was so natural and flawless throughout the entire movie. So I really can't wait to see what else she does. She hasn't done, I, I tried to looking her up on IMDb and it looks like she's just, you know, done some small parts here and there and may have had some recurring roles on some tv series but nothing huge this is going to be one of her first co-starring roles and i really think she's got far to go in the industry she did a phenomenal job so overall the casting for this film was spot on and i felt that they really captured the essence of a middle class black family mm. very refreshing very refreshing. So my first thoughts on this movie is that this is a story that we didn't know that we needed until we had it. Um, not only are we getting a peek into this young, young man's world and him trying to find himself, but we're also being privy to this journey of a sommelier. And so now that I've seen this, I understand why sommeliers, 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 I think it's sommeliers, are so high sedity, right? They have to go through a lot to get there. So it makes sense. And let me tell y'all, if I had to go through what they go through, I would definitely change. I would be, it's brand new. I would get brand new on everybody. So I completely understand why sommeliers, you know, that dude on uh, Top Chef, you, you remember that dude on Top Chef? <laughs> was like getting on everybody's nerves, but I'm like, you know what, Steven? I think his name was Steven. You know what, Steven? I understand why you're high, highfalutin. I really do understand that now. <laughs> so I really appreciated knowing, getting insight into what the journey of a sommelier is actually like and how intense the training is and 
it's really phenomenal what they go through and the things that they have to know as a Somali. I thought that was amazing. I also really loved the soundtrack of this movie. There was a blend of Southern hip hop, blues, jazz, and I thought it really uh, complemented the setting. Um, this movie was based in Memphis, Tennessee, uh, and he was, you know, primarily working out of his you know, family's barbecue restaurant, and then you had this kind of contrast to this high class wine world that he was in, and even uh, took went to France at some point in this movie. So I thought that they did an amazing job with the soundtrack, really complimenting it, kind of pairing it as you would a wine. So when you think about the score or the soundtrack to movies, it really does complement what the tone um, and the the mood that the director and the music director wants you to have. And I thought this movie, they really put a lot of care into the, the musical aspect of this movie. I thought it complemented it so well. And of course, the cinematography in this was stunning. Again, set in Memphis, Tennessee, uh, you got to see parts of the South, but then he was also a part of this kind of mysterious world of being a sommelier and I thought they captured the different wines and the moodiness of this film and also the emotions of this film because it definitely took you on a on an emotional roller coaster ride you uh, experienced pretty much all the emotions throughout the entire thing and I thought that they did a really wonderful job using the cinematography to evoke those emotions in you so lastly, I thought this film had so much heart. The relationship Elijah had, Elijah had with each member of his family was really well showcased without any unnecessary exposition and it also didn't add to the runtime. They didn't spend a lot of unnecessary screen time. I felt like Prentice used the screen time that he had very well. Each scene really helped to move the plot and the story forward. So I love that when screenwriters use the entirety of their screen to tell this wonderfully detailed story, I thought he did an amazing job with that. This film also captured that fish out of water narrative really well without making it a thing. Um, and what I mean by that is that he didn't dance around the difference between the two cultures, this very, very predominantly white, very high class world of wine and wine tasting and sommelier and being a sommelier to this very middle class experience of owning a barbecue restaurant with your family. Um, and it's predominantly, you know, in this predominantly black area, predominantly, you know, black family and area. Um, so I thought that it just showed Elijah, Elijah seamlessly navigating between the two worlds in the same way that a lot of us do that have, you know, different cultures that they're growing up in. So I thought he did, they did a really good job at showcasing how we as people of color tend to navigate between these two worlds and it's just what we do. We don't think about it. It's just, you know, we code switch very seamlessly because that's kind of you know, that's just something that comes very naturally to us to be able to navigate between these two worlds very easily. And sometimes two or more worlds. Sometimes it's not just, you know, it's mul multiple worlds that we navigate between. So I thought that they did a really good job at showing him code switching between the two, but still say staying very authentic to himself. And that is ultimately what we do as people of color. It's, it's really great to see that on screen. So while this film was mostly drama, I also thought Princess Penny brought a natural comedy to it as well. So Niecy Nash was a really great example of this. She tends to play over the top, uh, funny, comical characters, but in this, even though she played a little bit of a toned down personality um, that lent very well to the story, she also was able to bring her style of comedy into this. And I love that they did that. A lot of the comedy in this movie actually came from supporting characters that didn't have a ton of dialogue but the really cool thing is is that these characters didn't feel like they were brought in 
in just to say some funny quip. It felt like it was very natural and this is these were actual conversations that were happening. So I loved the subtle comedy in this movie and it was a welcome change to the dense drama that it was centered around. So I really appreciated the writing. I thought it was so clever and so unique. I loved it. Good job, Princess, on that one. So overall, this movie was great. I loved it. I actually rewatched it um, uh, a second time in the same day. Um, and I really appreciated everything that they did about this from the writing to the cinematography to the casting choices they were all spot on i highly recommend this for anybody who is looking to watch um it is on netflix right now it's actually trending so it sounds like people it is catching on and people are really starting to enjoy it so i would highly recommend this to anybody who is even considering watching it um it is very easy to watch um and uh, I just highly, highly recommend it to anyone. What a great film debut from Prentice Penny. Awesome job there. I can't wait to see more of his films and I hope that seeing the success of this film just opens lots of doors for him because he really deserves we, we deserve <laughs> to see his stories and he deserves to be writing all of these really wonderful stories. So I'm so excited to see more from him and the cast from this movie. I can't wait to see what they all go on to do after this. All right, that is my review for today. If you appreciate this review, feel free to comment below and let me know what you thought. Um, if you feel that others might wanna see this, feel free to share it. I'd love for other people to see what I have to say and see if this is helpful for anyone. And so don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell if you wanna see more from me. And other than that, I will see you soon. Thank you so much, bye-bye.